We begin with some potentially positive news. As the world awaits an effective vaccine against COVID-19, some promising signs are emerging. Scientists at Oxford University in the UK say their experimental vaccine prompted a protective immune response in hundreds of people who got the shot. Our Kim hyo starts us off. A potential COVID-19 vaccine developed by Oxford University has reportedly produced a promising immune response in a large early-stage human trial. According to newly released data published Monday in the medical journal The Lancet, 100% of the participants in the trial developed neutralizing antibodies. The trial was carried out in April on some 1,000 people between the ages of 18 and 55 in the UK. Researchers explained that the vaccine being jointly developed with pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca also produced killer T cells that help patients combat the infection by attacking the infected cells. The World Health Organization welcomed the news but warned that there is a long road ahead. We do welcome uh, the, the study and congratulate uh, our colleagues at the Oxford University's uh, Jenner Institute uh, and the Oxford Vaccine Group and, and, and obviously our, our colleagues at AstraZeneca for, <clears throat> for getting this data out there. But again, there is a long way to go. These are phase one studies. We now need to move into larger scale real world trials. There was also positive news on vaccine development in other parts of the world, with America's Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech successfully immunizing their participants. The trial carried out on 60 adults in Germany proved to be safe and successfully induced an immune response. Such a response echoed results of a similar test conducted in the U.S. Pfizer and BioNTech now plan to begin testing on some 30,000 volunteers this month to prove the efficacy of their vaccine. Kim Hyo-san. Arirang News.